Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. Alright, so we're gonna try something different this time around and actually play a scenario or a basic scenario that comes with the game. And that is going to be this one right here. Never surrender. So in this scenario, you pretty much gather your resources, build up your ships and everything like that, go to a checkpoint, and then it becomes challenging where you have to survive and protect a beacon from waves and waves of drones. So there's also an achievement involved here as well, where if you survive up to wave 100, you get that achievement, which is something I haven't done before because I've rarely played any of these scenarios, to be honest. So this time around, we can give it a shot because I wanted to kind of showcase an evolution of the space pod or the spaceship, the, the original spaceship you get when you're in space. So let's get started. All right, so of course, in this scenario, you can start in Mars, Mar Earth, the alien planet, whatever you want to do. But in this case, we're going to start in space because we are doing the evolution of the space pod. So I don't normally build large grid ships too much because I end up not really designing them too well. But that's the challenge for today or this series where we're going to pretty much gather our resources, build up the ship and pretty much evolve it and, and build it organically as we go so things like um that we need to accomplish here is to add like a refinery uh, assemblers medical rooms um a whole bed station armory weapons all that stuff so that's what we're gonna do today or in this series before we jump into the actual scenario where we can get the achievement with 100 waves so basically it's going to be a normal survival kind of thing with building a spaceship or building up the spaceship that contains everything or a mobile base in this case right so that's kind of the plan here and by default the space pod is actually decently equipped so you have a space uh the survival kit you do have an oxygen tank and oh um a hydrogen engine, a decent amount of storage, an O2 H2 generator, uh, lots of iron thrusters, which we could always use more, and the storage. Well, I said a lot of storage, but we only have one, um, one by one by one cargo container here, which doesn't have too too much. But we'll grab the oxygen bottle and hydrogen bottle from there first to start, and of course we can always get into the seat and gather some more stuff like the um, weapon and ammo and also the GPS um, location for a economy base. So looks like we have a decent one here. This is the CLIN station, I guess. So we're going to put up the GPS location, activate that. And that one is a <laughs> oh, great 72 kilometers away. Not ideal, but kind of works out um well it doesn't work out we got to go around the space base which is where we have to head to eventually for the waves of drones and protect the beacon but i would imagine we're gonna go through a ton of episodes as we build up the ship before we even get to the space base so there's gonna be a lot of goals that we need to do here and today's goal is pretty much finding resources because we have none <laughs> we probably have what do we have ice and that's it can we build anything else right now absolutely not because we have no materials so we need to get some stone from the asteroids we need to get iron and everything like that but we can't even do iron yet because we gotta wait um until we build an assembler or refinery or whatever the case is right so we do have an asteroid in front i do want to check i'm not even sure if we do have it or not and that would be a ore detector and it looks like we don't so the ship has an air vent, um, batteries, gyroscope, as I mentioned before, hydro engine, some lights. We could kill the lights if we need to, save some batteries. Doesn't save much, but whatever. The hydrogen is off, so we'll leave it at it's on. If we run out of power, we can always add it. But I think we're just probably going to tack on a few solar panels eventually onto the ship. But first, I think um, the best thing to do, in, in my previous experience is to try to add a drill as quickly as possible. 
That way we can gather resources a lot quicker instead of doing it by hand. So yeah, as I mentioned before, there is, I'm not even sure what this is for, um, depressurize on or off. Why would we want to do that when it's in here? I don't, well, I don't know. <laughs> um, can anybody explain that? I'm not really great with the whole air vent depressurizing and pressurizing. Why would you need to turn this on or off in your cockpit? I don't know. Seems a bit odd to me, but sure. So we're going to get started. And I think the first thing to do is pretty much explore what's in this specific asteroid. And one easy way to save energy and flying in space, the best way to do it, turn your dampeners off. <laughs> um, but yeah, that just gives you a little bit of gliding. So this asteroid, vis visually, you should be able to see any materials like iron and things like that. But we have a survival kit um, only right now. So we can only probably produce stone and stuff like that. So ideally, this thing has ice. Because that's going to save us from being able to get more power or um, be able to fly without jetpacks and have oxygen. So that's pretty much very, very important. Uh, for the time being, we're going to leave this guy right here. We're going to go outside without drill. And I feel like we need to put on that script, the door script, so we can do this opening and closing a lot quicker. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I was hoping to go outside, explore the asteroid a bit by flying around, see if we can detect any type of resources on the outside, or even if it's in the inside, but we probably won't be able to get that far into it. It looks like there's not much on this one. Oh, there we go. Here we go. What, we, what is this? This is gold. It's something we don't need immediately, but at least we found it. So what we're going to do here is slash GPS go so we're gonna keep that around so we can find it when we need it when we need it to gather more and it's gonna be useful for uh for, useful for when we make um superconductors or something like that jump drives and stuff so that's a decent thing to have i don't believe asteroids have separate resources other than stone some do share, I think, but not by much. So we can start by maybe breaking down this little asteroid first if we want to. <laughs> Why not? So let's just do that really quickly. Um, and I want to bring this thing closer so I can store stuff here. So I can transfer over to our survival kit. So as always, I do really, really enjoy the very beginning parts of the challenges here. Or the survival piece. Um, they, it makes it interesting for the time being. Until you gather enough resources. But this is going to be a mobile base. A evolution of the ship. So that's what's going to keep it even more interesting. Because we have to keep upgrading this ship. And make it better as we go. Um, or you know based on what we need it for. So that's what's going to make it kind of interesting. At least to me for the gameplay of it. So, yeah. So right now, we're going to just be parked right next to the asteroid Y. So that can just dump it right in there. Do we wish we had something to suck up all the stone and everything like that? Of course. But that's not going to happen. <laughs> so let's just hold F, drill straight through, make a little bit of a hole or a pit so we can, um, you know, maintain them inside and make it easy to grab for the most part. And once we have enough stone, I think, again, the first thing I'm probably going to make is going to be kind of like a drill system. But it looks like we don't have a lot of storage either. So that's going to be a problem. Uh, yeah, it's going to make me go back and forth, back and forth to do stuff. I do want to add some mods, although I don't need it. Um, I do always prefer to use the easy inventory mod over build planner. Although they're pretty much the same thing. The key is a little bit different. I mean, I could probably change the key mapping for Build Planner, but I just like to use Build Planner. I mean, easy inventory for the most part. Um, but I could deal with it for now, and I'll add it in probably later down the line. So, first thing to do, put in your stone. How we get ingots? We gotta do this. We gotta produce ingots, basically. So, pretty much hold down Control, Shift, and left click. I'm gonna queue up like 30,000. Of them here so that that way 
it will just keep queuing that up as we throw more stone in there. So as you see here, loose stone. I do wish we have something to just grab it. Uh, I know the um, nanobot build and repair system has something where you can just do that, which is um, a bit cheesy, but <laughs> it works out. There's a gravity collector as well as a mod. So we're going to keep continuing to break down this area for stone. Um, we, again, we have very little inventory space, so we're just going to have to keep breaking that. I probably should put my um, weapon away because we're probably not going to need that at all. And I think the ammo's gone. Nope, they're still here. Um, yeah, so we, we should put that and store that away because we don't need to carry it. I don't think we're going to be fighting any animals or anything like that. So let's just make some more space. This stuff we probably do need to hold on to, although we could get away with not having it. Um, at least the oxygen. The hydrogen definitely need to carry that around <laughs> so we don't run out of jetpack fuel. So yeah, very little space. Um, so it's going to take a while to gather a lot of materials like this. And that is exactly why we want a drill system as soon as possible. But a drill system will require a ton of steel plates which is a ton of stone so let's see what we got so far in here so only 327 <laughs> iron ingots so far so that's not much at all so that's the problem there um looks like a freighter okay as long as it doesn't attack me i'm okay uh if it does attack me and i can't respawn i'm gonna call the series basically Pretty much all my survival series, if I can't respawn in a survival kit, my own survival kit in a medical room or bay, then I call the series and kind of start over or do something else. Um, but yeah, so hopefully none of that happens and we survive for quite some time. And it looks like we got some good bot information, probably should turn that off. Uh, we don't necessarily need that. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's welcoming you to, to this scenario, I guess. Um, yeah, take all the time whenever you're ready, go to that location, which is pretty much what I said earlier. So it looks like we have unknown signals on, which is great. So it is a good idea to grab those in the very beginning if you have it turned on. That way you have more resources. We got interior plate. It's not too bad, but we can always break these things down too. And the best part about the ones, unknown signals in space, you get to keep the canvas. <laughs> Although not very, very useful, but good enough. I could keep the battery, but I'm not going to. And of course, I could get the steel plates by grinding all this down, but that's also a bit of a hassle. So we're going to grab a, a little bit as much as possible and then just forget about it. Now I just got to find my respawn pot and it's right there. Okay. All right. So we are back by the respawn pod. We got a little bit of a bounty, not too, 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 not too, too much as expected. And we can just throw stuff in there. Okay. So did, were we able to make everything? Nope. So we still have ways and ways to go in this case. So that's going to keep collecting the stone uh, as much as possible. And hopefully we can make that assembler soon. We we can make the assembler first because we don't have iron um, ores to to refine right now. So we can always add the assembler first before we add a uh, refinery and all that stuff. And that way at least we can build stuff. Um, yeah, build, that way we can build resources that we can't make with just a survival kit. All right. Looks like we got a decent ways to go with um, other things. It looks like we got in more than enough of the construction components, it looks like. No, it barely made any. <laughs> oh, no, right here. We have 36. So that's not too bad. So we could queue it up and see what we need. So we could just plop it right here. It's going to look a little weird, but I mean, it's a decent spot to put it. Um, not the best. So what I'm going to do is actually get rid of this here with the ramp. Which has a lot of interior plates. That's interesting. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to get rid of this one. And then put the... Actually, I was hoping to put the assembler here. It looks like it's not going to work out as I thought. Um, 
What is underneath? This should be the air vent, actually. I think. What is under there? That is not the air vent. So what is this? Well, that's not going to work either. Okay, so we don't really have a good spot <laughs> for it. Um, if we get behind... So the O2 A2 generator, how is that even hooked up? Or is it even hooked up? So let's see. We're going to get rid of this light. This thing here. And there we go. So that is... This is our O2H2 generator. So I think this O2H2 generator is not even connected to anything. Yeah, it's not. Oh, no, it is. On the side. So that... So it's all kind of connected. Okay, so that's not too bad. Alright, so what I can do is actually throw the assembler down here. Never done this before in terms of the assembler, but this is actually a pretty good spot. So we're gonna throw the assembler here, try to weld it up as much as possible. But with whatever materials we have, I think we have a decent amount of materials for it. So I would want to hope so. And I hope we can build up. Oh, we're almost there. We're missing some computers. It looks like uh, not too many of them either. So do we have the computers? We do. Here we go. We got the assembler. Perfect. That was the fastest <laughs> I've ever done it, I guess, in some ways. All right, so that's going to unlock a few things, which is great. So that works out there. I don't think I can rebuild this ramp piece over here, but you know what? We can always add it back here. Well, we can add our own little ramp, which is pretty much this kind of ramp here. And that's going to take minimal steel plates. So if we really wanted to, we could get rid of the ramps <laughs> and turn them into these slows. But I think it actually costs less to make these ramps than it does for these steel plates. Not 100% proven at this point that I'm aware of, but I think that's the case. All right, so we got assembler. So now I think we can make a drill. Nope, we can't make a drill. <laughs> I... Don't recall what it's going to take to make a drill, but it's likely going to be a basic refinery. Yep, basic refinery. So now we need to queue up for basic refinery, which is great. Um, I was actually trying to avoid making a, a basic refinery, but looks like we need it. So basic refinery, we just queue that up. I'm going to put that in there. And... I think we're out of iron already. Yeah, we're probably out of it already. Yeah, we're out of iron. So, so we need to queue up a lot more stone in here. I don't know why that's not taking it. Oh, why are we not? Oh, because that's the basic assembler, obviously. So stone, nothing's happening here. Okay, so we need to get a little more stone. And then we'll make some refineries. So let's just get through that really quickly. All right, so we got a decent amount of stone, about 3K, a little bit more, over 3K of it. So it's going to slowly kind of gather from there. So where can we put a basic refinery? So a refinery, the basic refinery, it's quite a large piece. So if only this wasn't there, I could just line it up here, but that's in the way. So we can't line it up there. I mean, we could line it up here, but we need to find a way to pipe it onto that, if anything. So, would that be ideal? Probably not. Um, would we be able to put it down here somehow? Mm, actually, we might be able to. So, we can connect it to that. Interesting. So, that might be it. I'm going to dismantle this here. And this piece here, hopefully it doesn't separate the ship, and I don't think it will. So I'm going to take this one off too. And we can tr we could change this also. Um, we're going to have to do that one by one. So now we just put the frame up here. So this is the basic refinery. We'll throw it here. We're going to have to pipe it in here, which we don't have the ability to do so just yet, which is fine. Um, we can, we can leave that as 
that because that makes it look decent. All right, so we're just going to weld this up for the time being. Hopefully, we get enough pieces. And we'll put a conveyor junction right here when we can. That way, we can connect it all. But in the time being, I can just grab stuff right over here if need, if need be or down here if need be. So let's see what can we grab from our current situation. Not much, looks like. So we're missing steel plates, motors, and more steel plates. So that's not terrible. But I don't think any of that's being produced right now. Yeah, none of that's really being produced. So we need... Uh, looks like we're missing nickel and iron for the most part. So that's that's really bad. <laughs> so this is going to be the long grind for the most part. But yeah, you know what? You guys have to sit through it. Alright, so there is another unknown signal a little bit further away than I would like, but yeah, we're gonna, just going to have to travel there. <laughs> well, lucky for the jetpack, it, it makes quick work on traveling short distances, which this is perfectly fine. And of course, we can gather out unknown signals too for more skins. <laughs> Unfortunately, nothing there. Alright, so we can grab... Ooh, antenna. That gives me a little bit... More materials in that sense. Um, buttons, bare, bare minimal. I wish the power cells we can keep, but we can't. We can keep their parachute. Here's a small seal too, which is useful. And here is money. <laughs> and more interior. Was that interior plates? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. No, what did I get? Computers. That kind of works out. And of course, we can just get some steel plates here. Like I said, it, this takes a little too long to really grind down everything. So we just I usually just grind down a little bit at a time and or a little bit of it and just, just leave. But this one was pretty quick, so I'm just going to take that apart. And that's it. That's done with unknown signal number two. Where is... Okay. So it looks like that station, it's on in Earth, I think. It appears to be so, like it's, it's actually in the planet, or on the planet, I should say. So I highly thought we're going to go there, but if we do want to, we can. <laughs> we're probably just going to get resources from space for the most part. Maybe some Mayday ships that are abandoned and stuff like that. So that's kind of the idea of how we're going to get resources, the old fashioned way, basically. Scrapping and locating <laughs> all right so i hope some of the motors have been completed because that's all we really need it looks like we got out 10 motors so i think we're good to go we need more steel plates obviously because we're going to make another a drill system a large drill system but this should lock i'll unlock a lot of things apparently not <laughs> so we need i can't even get to the conveyors. So what is blocking the conveyors? It looks like we need to make some kind of cargo containers. Which we can easily just do this. Um, grind it down and build it back up. And there we go. <laughs> now we can make a conveyor junction. It was perfect. Now we can put it right here and, and, make, and connect it from here. <laughs> That's the quick and easy way of um, updating for progression. All right, here we're gonna put the conveyor junction. Actually, no, oh, I completely forgot. There's no port on the bottom of the refinery, so I could have just moved this over. Actually, it's exactly what I'm gonna do now. So I'm just gonna dismantle this and just move it over to the back a bit. And okay, inventory full, and we just have a little bit of steel plates hanging around. I'm going to plug that there. Weld this up completely. And we got to put something right over here too in a second. Alright, basic refinery is all done 100%. Everything's connected, which is perfect. Now we just got to put together, I think I'm going to do this, which would be a little bit odd, right? It might be. 
Uh, maybe not. I'm just gonna keep it as the half block here. Why not? We'll leave it as that. Uh, looks like we're out of steel plates for that too. Interesting. So, hmm. All right, we got enough. Here we go. Put that on. Now we got our fresh little start going. So we have a refinery, a basic refinery, a basic assembler, and that's about it for now. <laughs> We'll leave this, the money here. So it looks like we got a decent amount of stuff now. Not a lot of iron still. Uh, we probably don't have enough for a drill, I think. Can we make a drill? We can now. So it's perfect. So we'll put on the build planner. Get rid of that. Can we queue it all up? Um, probably not. But at least we can make the large steel tubes eventually. That's a lot of <laughs> steel place just to do that. And the drill, I'm probably going to end up making it right in front here, connected to the survival kit. Not the smartest idea, because if you break the survival kit, and we can't remake the survival kit, or the medical components, we are screwed. So, that's the biggest problem. So, medical component needs iron, nickel, and silver. So, if we don't find silver and die and broke the survival kit, Series over. Series is over. So let's just maybe rethink where we're going to put a drill system. I mean, I could put a conveyor in front of it just to cushion it a bit. But I don't know. Oh, maybe I could put it here. Yeah, I think I'll put it here on top. That might do it. That'll make it a little bit safer for the most part. Or maybe put it on the right side. No, I can't put it on the right. Can I put it on the right side? No, I can't. <laughs> this thing's going to burn it down. Um. That was actually pretty quick. Another unknown signal popped up. Uh, I guess I picked up the second one a little late. So what to do? We need we need more materials. So we gotta gather more stone. But I think I'm gonna get, get the unknown signal first. It's not too far away. And then gather a little bit more stone. And hopefully we can make the drill system as quickly as possible. Alright. So how's our battery situation? 16 and 11 hours. Alright, that's not too bad. Um... It sounds like we're slowly producing stuff, <laughs> which is interesting enough. We likely don't have, yeah, we don't have a lot of steel plates. Can we dismantle stuff? Maybe. I mean, what do we, can we really dismantle? We just really need more iron for the most part. So, huh. We're just going to have to keep <laughs> drilling around a bit more. Um, for the sake of it. And then we should be good from there. So once again, you don't have to sit through this. So <laughs> see you in a bit. All right. So while it's refining some of the stone, I didn't get too much right at this point, at this point, but what we can do is kind of set it up for the drill. So I, in order to do that, I think what I want to do is actually build it over here. So since this needs a covering, we're likely just going to put a conveyor junction here. And I guess we can just go with the same color scheme for whatever reasons. So we'll just throw this one here, right? Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I have enough parts for this, but... But we'll see what we can do from here. So we throw this here. From here, we kind of need a covering too from down there, so we might have to do another junction, which is not ideal because it takes a lot of small steel tubes, as you see here, um, to make one of these guys. So we need one here, I need another one here, so that's a lot of materials um, necessary. Actually, you know what? The drill... Can we make the drill right now? I can. Okay, so the drill can make that covering there for us anyway, so I think we're just going to do that. Yeah, that looks like a better plan. So we're not going to be able to drill a lot or very deep, but at least we can drill a surface of something. So we have that and we need to connect this guy here too. So yeah, so we just get rid of this thing here. And put another conveyor junction right there. So um, do we have the materials for this? Probably not. No, doesn't look like it. We're missing small steel tubes. So that's... <laughs> that's just great. Alright, so let's just grab what we can for the most part, right? 
So our motors, computers, interior. Can we make anything for the drill? We're missing a ton and tons of steel plates. So if we can gather as much stone as possible to make the drill system. Once that's done, we're going to be in good shape for the most part. Because we don't have to hand drill anymore. Um, but we, we can have to drill with minimal spacing in front too. So that's a bit of an issue as well. But uh, it's, it does beat drilling by hand. So once again, let me just keep gathering more materials and we'll be right back. Alright, so I think I finally got enough steel plates. Let's hope so. To get it functional, at least, for the drill. So I did weld up the conveyor junctions here. And I did go the route of disassembling stuff to get more um, resources in that sense. So yeah, I can only get up to functional for now, which is fine. So I did, as I mentioned before, in a, just before... I went the route of disassembling things, so if you look at my inventory, I have nothing um, except for steel tubes, apparently. I'm not even sure why I have so many of them, but yeah, we have like almost little to nothing here. So actually, we could just disassemble. Why not? Let's just disassemble all that, whatever's left of steel tubes, and if we can, the canvas. The canvas, it doesn't even do too much anyways. So this is the route we're going to have to take to really get more resources. Um, but actually, you know what? The drill's finished, so we should be okay. So let's get rid of these things. Hopefully we can make a little bit more steel plates. All that only made five, which is not much at all. So we're just going to put that here. Now let's just do it the easy way for this. And that is to just drill out for some stone. So we're going to do block tools. Let's just throw it here. Now we got a drill that we can use. All right, perfect. Ooh, okay. Just smack into the wall there. Mm, all right, not too bad. We didn't lose anything, so let's just be careful with this. All right, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to break this drill it's faster than I made it. So let's see how we're going to do this. All right, so we're getting a decent amount of stone now, which is perfect. We can get the gold, but we can't refine it anytime soon unless we make the regular or advanced refinery, I think it was called. So we're going to have to kind of wait on that. But for now, at least we're getting a good amount of stone. And we got to be careful with this because we don't want to overload our container, which we just did. <laughs> um, but as long as we don't overload the drill also, then we should be okay. So yeah, there's 23,000... Uh, liters left to fill up for the drill itself, but we should be fine. So now the refinery is going to refine it up. Yep, we're good here. So now it's really worth it to go look for an iron deposit, uh, nickel and silicone deposit for the most part, uh, and also some cobalt for the, that we need for um, storage. So we don't want to fill this up too much, so we'll leave it as that. Um, one thing I do want to see if we can make is an ore detector because we need to look find a way to kind of get the ore detector so we need a decent amount of steel plates and some detector components so let's see detector components right here requires nickel and iron and we need 20 of these guys so we can keep 20 of them we need like 50 steel plates which we just made i think we we needed some motors what do we need here? Yep, looks like one computer, one motor, two construction components. Alright, so it's not too bad. Um, I mean, I could have just used the build plan to queue it up, but sure, why not? So we just need like one or two of these guys. Computer, motor, construction components, I said, I think. So we'll leave it as that. So we just build it right there. And that looks good. I think that's all we need. I would hope. Uh, looks like I didn't make that motor. Why didn't I make that motor? Was I in disassemble? No, it's right here. <laughs> Alright, we're going to make that. And we got to make this. We're going to stop making the steel plates for now. Alright, so we have that. 
So we can make the... I think we can, should be able to queue it up right now. So an ore detector. Where can we put this? Hmm. Not too sure. We could probably... Well, I can't get rid of the bottom because that's going to kill the, the seat. I could put it... Back here. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it back here. Get rid of this one. And organically attach it here, basically. So, boom. There we go. So, we're missing... That was five... I think I was looking at the smaller version. So, um, let's do this. Click on this. Do we have anything else in here? Yeah, we do. And queue up the stuff here. Alright, so we have that. We should move... Ah, no, we're okay here. Alright, something just happened. <laughs> we are out of iron. We're finished with all the stone already? Jeez. That is actually pretty quick. <laughs> Alright, so let we'll come back to that in a second. So, we have our detected components. We just needed 20. Why did I have so much queued up? That's insane. We don't need that anymore. Uh, and I think we have a bunch of them too, right? No, we didn't. Okay, so I'm not sure what that was all about. Alright, so... So we need it. Construction components. Da, 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 da. So what can we do? What can we do? So it looks like we got a whole bunch of steel plates, which is great. I'm going to grab those for now. Um, because I can put it on the drill. Yeah, let's put it on the drill. So that way you don't break easily. Then we can focus on this iron ore, or iron ore, ore detector. Which we're missing computers, motors, and construction components. Alright, that's fine. We're just going to have to you know, drill for it in a sense. So, let's see. There we go. So it's not too bad of a reach for the drill being up front like that. It's not ideal at all, but it's good enough. <laughs> Eventually, maybe I'll add a piston so I can dig even deeper if we have to. <laughs> that might That's a possibility. Is it... A, good idea yeah, it's not terrible <laughs> all right so we're gonna kind of climb up a little bit more and grab it I think we should be pretty filled up in stone in terms of the cargo pretty much it's about 40k that's not too bad so hopefully everything is done by now and it looks like it is so let's just grab what we need Or the ore detector. Perfect. And we've got a lot done so far. We got a basic assembler, basic refinery, a drill, an ore detector, which is gonna suck up a lot of battery power power for the most part, so it should be okay. <laughs> um, ore detector, I guess we could do or have it on and off, depending on you know how close we are. Um, from an asteroid. So I want to do 150 meters, which is not much at all, to detect anything. Uh, so you got to be fairly close to the asteroid just to detect anything at all in that sense. So it looks like there is iron around. Huh. Like I said, <laughs> sometimes the asteroid may or may not share resources. But it looks like there's iron deposit not too far from here. So I'm going to go and investigate that, of course. And it looks like there's a Mayday situation in front of us, too. So that's also a little bit... It, it, could, it could be fun to go explore it. <laughs> um, but it's also might have a drone there, too. So that's something we got to be careful of. So where is this iron? It's probably deep inside this asteroid, right? I'm just gonna see how I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm not detecting anymore. I think I'm too far now. So I'm gonna have to get as close as possible without breaking our ship. Okay. 
So it looks and appears to be fairly inside, I want to say. So I don't even think I could detect it with my drill. Yeah, it's pretty deep. So that's not a good thing for the setup I have currently. <laughs> that means I have to kind of drill through um, a decent amount before I can actually get to it. And the ship... Oh, look at this. This is pretty interesting. Looks like something drilled through this already. But yeah, I'm not finding or able to locate it with just the drill itself. Oh, there it goes. Here it is. The iron is here. But where is that compared to the outside? Right out here. So it should be actually outside. It, it, it looks like it could be. I'm not seeing it, but let's just get close. And that's not popping up anymore. Interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. So I, I lost that bit of a hole that was just in. So I think it is outside. It's just a little hard to see exactly where. So I'd need to bring the ship right around this corner, I think. And we might be able to get to it from there. I'm just going to go out a little bit to check out the scenery, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing it. But it's definitely there because I, I was inside it just now. So that's the... Was this the hole? No, I don't even know where that hole went. <laughs> that's the hard part about kind of like exploring asteroids um, there some asteroids are huge and it's easy to kind of lose direction of it so let's see right now it's 160 away from this side and if I follow through let's see if it decreases increases in numbers so if I keep going this way it's decreasing which is good so that means it's not too, too far. So if I keep going right and it starts increasing, then then we know, oh, right there, it's stopping. So it's right around there is the iron deposit. So is it really deep in? It, it's 54 right here. All right, so we could right click drill to try to get in. But we are going to risk breaking stuff, which is the biggest problem. <laughs> I kind of don't want to do it, but that's really good resources right there, to be honest. So let's see what we can do. If it, if it gets a little sketchy, I'm going to pull out. Um, but if it works out, then even better. So I'm going to right click drill this thing here. Um, and try to make space for the ship to get through. So it's easier to gather the material instead of hand drilling everything again. Um, yeah, I think we got to sweep it pretty much up and down, left and right a little bit just to be able to get in without damaging the ship in this case. And it looks like, yeah, we definitely don't have much room. So we might have to hand drill a little bit if we really, really have to. Uh, hoping that's not the case. Or we wait until we can build more drills so we can build in front of it. <laughs> that might be the better idea for the most part. Because uh, this is pretty deep in here. Yeah, it's pretty deep. So even if I were to get out and try to go in. It shouldn't be too far now. It should be, yeah, about 45, 46 meters deep. So, I mean, I, if we're desperate for the iron, I guess we could just do it this way. Again, not the most ideal thing to do, but I can't get the ship in safely. If I get the ship in safely, then yeah, I can definitely just drill through a hole and get to it. But I can't right now. So let's just go and gather a little bit of iron now because that's going to help us um, with materials. Instead of just getting stone, which is just getting stone is not even that bad because uh, we can skim the outside of the asteroid instead of tunneling all the way through here for the most part. But we can also GPS marker this too, if we need to. So once we get close enough to it, which we should be coming up to it soon. Right here, it looks like. Here we go. Here's the iron. I'm going to GPS marker this. 
There we go. And we can just gather a bit of the iron um, for the most part. So at least we have more materials to make iron necessary um, items uh, for the most part in this case. And it looks like we drilled pretty deep. Um, not too bad. But I think we need more drills if we're going to continue to drill forward this way without breaking the ship. Um, yeah, because we're going to have to kind of do a squirming kind of technique. <laughs> which is not the best and not the funnest thing to do. Alright, so we'll leave that for now. I don't think there's an easier way to get there, is there? It doesn't seem like it. So we're going to have to leave it there for now. And let's see. What else do we need currently? Um, maybe some solar panels, if any, if anything, just to get more power. But ice, we have some ice to sustain us. We still have a decent amount of power to sustain. So we should be okay. So I think now we just pretty much follow through with progression. Where we just need to make the more advanced stuff. Or, yeah, yeah, your regular assembler and, and your refineries. That's what we need to do. But we also need to continue moving forward with um, looking for more resources, too. So for the most part, we're okay. Yeah, we're, we're definitely okay. Um, we've got the basics going, which is perfect. So it is really just now going asteroid to asteroid. <laughs> and looking for some materials easy materials so if that was uranium then yeah i would i would definitely dig for it but that's not uranium that's iron so we're gonna have to jump from asteroid to asteroid to kind of see what we can find it looks like the next best asteroid is gonna be this grouping of them here so let's just fly there um see what we can find there and then probably call it for today and eventually we're gonna have to get jump drives because I'm not gonna keep traveling back and forth back and forth like this so we have to go so we're gonna get that sooner or later but we still need um, more space more cargo space so that's gonna be coming in the form of uh, a large cargo container and then we gotta update the ship a little bit more to carry it um, and make it look nice at the same time I'm not gonna just throw it on top and make not make it look nice so <laughs> right now we're just gonna have to wait until we get some cobalt or find some cobalt we'll make the small or well, large um, cargo containers to store a lot of stuff from there we could make the small grid cargo containers using a rotor or, or hinge but we're gonna try to avoid doing those things if we have if we can but if we can't which seems more likely I might just go the small cargo route but we'll see what happens because you never know um, how quickly you can find certain resources once in a while so if I'm lucky there's gonna be cobalt here if I'm if I'm not as lucky there's not gonna be cobalt to be found in a long long while but right now I'm gonna put or detect on and off so it save some batteries um, so we're not that far from this asteroid and it's not detecting anything so of course that's not oh there you go Wow platinum and magnesium right off the bat really don't need that right now <laughs> but we're gonna mark them as plat and mag all right so usually the groupings of asteroid would be the same exact stuff yeah it looks like it is uh you got your magnesium up there mm. ice is another thing we probably need yeah platinum Ooh, right on the surface perfect uh, magnesium uh, should be on the surface too, but it shouldn't have anything other than platinum and magnesium here now. So that's this grouping of in this asteroid, platinum, magnesium. So those are good finds, not what we're looking for. So let's just try one more asteroid before we call it, I guess. I just, I just it's, it's kind of addicting to go, um, one asteroid to another just to look for stuff. So that's magnesium. Is this a separate asteroid right over here? Is that even far away? Or is that pretty close? That is actually pretty close. So it'd be a separate grouping. 
Another option is, yeah, land on a planet or a moon to look for the materials. We could definitely do that. Um, more likely a moon than a planet at this point. Actually, that's pretty far away. That looked close for a second, but that's actually a huge asteroid and not that close. We could have went to that one instead. <laughs> um, all right. Well, it doesn't matter at this point. Um, I think these are even closer right here to the side. So should we change? No, no, we're not going to change direction. Let's just go forward and hope for the best. So we're looking for, I think more importantly, ice and cobalt first. We need a little bit more ice so we can generate or keep or store oxygen and hydrogen. I mean, we have a decent amount now, so it's not too bad, but it's a limited resource to carry that that we should have. It looks like right there, that's an ice asteroid for what are reasons. It looks so blue. So that's interesting that it's showing like that on my screen, but maybe it's just a regular asteroid that's just colored weird. <laughs> because of um, graphics or shaders or whatever the case may be. Maybe I'm looking through an asteroid at this range for some reason. We're going to explore that sooner or later anyways. Um, pretty much each asteroid I'm going to explore and then probably GPS marker most of them anyways. So my screen's going to be scattered with GPS markers sooner or later. <laughs> Which is going to be very fun to look at, I guess. But we can always remove them um, from the screen. Okay, so I do wish this thing had a little bit more of side thrusting. So it can stop a little bit better. Um, but we don't right now. And that's going to require platinum. Gathering of platinum and everything like that. So we do have platinum. but Or have or know where platinum is. So we should be okay. We can increase that in a bit. So I'm not seeing anything on here. And I'm not detecting anything as well. So maybe we just got to get a little closer. And I think sometimes some asteroids don't have anything at all. It's possible. Um, it sucks, but it's possible. Alright, so I'm not seeing anything. And I might be a little bit too far from the asteroid itself too. Uh, guess not. I'm pretty close now. And I'm not detecting a thing. Do I have it on? Yeah, it's on. No, nothing here. Oh, right there. Go gold again. <laughs> not not what I wanted I mean these again these are good finds especially for later and it, it's usually hard to find these things um, sometimes so or at least it's hard to find when you need it <laughs> but we we're, we're got kind of lucky here we found the gold um, platinum we missing silver and uranium for the most part but right there is your your gold so we need to kind of steady out here a bit. Hold on. I'm going to go out and kind of GPS marker that. And that is actually pretty, pretty hidden in some ways. Um, all right. So we are still in search of cobalt and ice, which might may or may not be it for the next video but that looks like ice to me for some reason so i'm gonna hope that's the case so let's fly to and see what this asteroid really is <laughs> it's probably really far away too because it looks pretty big and actually that just looks like a really big asteroid that's so shiny that it looks like ice to me <laughs> um that's not good Alright, so it is pretty far away, but we are getting really close to the moon. Not really, but we're slowly getting close to the moon, which is an interesting piece. Um, Cargo-wise, we're good for the most part. Do we have a lot of iron now? We got about a cave of iron, so we could do a decent amount of building here. Um, I do want to upgrade my grinders and stuff, but it looks like we need cobalt for that. So... That's going to have to wait. And yeah, this is a huge asteroid. We are going further and further away from everything. <laughs> All right, so we do have a lot of power left. Seven days worth of power, it looks like. If I turn on dampeners and let the iron thrusters, um, you know, stop the ship, it's going to run it down a little bit more. 
So we're gonna, so we probably do want to put some solar panels somewhere when uh, when we get a chance to, just to get some free energy while we have the sun beaming at us, which we do right now. So yeah, that's a shiny asteroid. <laughs> Is that an ice asteroid? That would be interesting if there is an ice asteroid, but I don't think there is. I could be wrong. <laughs> um, no, that's just one really, really shiny asteroid, I think. Yeah, that looks like a really, really shiny asteroid. Uh, another thing I should add is actually a camera in front. And, and and the reason for that, so I can use it to... Actually, that is an ice asteroid. Is that really a thing? <laughs> I, I guess it is. I don't know why I never knew that. I guess I don't really play in space too too much. Is this whole thing an ice asteroid? I guess it is such a thing. I, I kind of recall seeing it like really long time ago. But yeah. Haha. <laughs> Alright. We have an ice asteroid apparently. So we can gather some ice here. And if we have to. Oh look at that. Seven days steady. But when we're using our iron thrusters. It is not much at all left. So that's telling me that I'm going to have to run the hydrogen um, engine soon. And since we have an ice asteroid, we can perfectly do that now. So that's, yeah, this is all ice. That is awesome. Okay, let's not gather too much because we don't want to fill up our cargo container here, but... That is awesome, fine. So if we could find a cobalt one like this, <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> but I highly doubt that. Um, does a does other types of deposits form on the ice asteroid? Maybe? Like I don't remember seeing the ice asteroid, but I, I kinda recall it now if I think back in the previous years that I've been playing this. Um it is something I would normally search for, I guess. But is there anything else that ties into it? I don't think so. So we are in luck when it comes to... That's the, the, the smallest <laughs> little asteroid I've ever seen in my life. But um, yeah. Okay. So we're good here. We're, we still haven't found the iron that we want. Or the cobalt that we really wanted. But I guess it's going to take some time to find all that. Um, I don't care to explore any more at this point so we can kind of maybe even stay here if we had to to charge up so I don't even think our batteries are, are depleted much at all yeah there's still a lot of power in here so if we really wanted to charge up we can just turn on the the hydrogen tank uh, hydrogen engine we do need hydrogen tanks store more power obviously but we're okay for now so yeah I think we're good for now we're, we're gonna have to um, stay here if we need to gather more ice we'll gather more ice but we gotta keep moving forward and gather more um, some more Intel <laughs> basically or scout around a little bit more so we can get um, iron, cobalt, and stuff like that. I think, again, more importantly, it's more cobalt than anything else. So we can have more um, storage. Alright, so thank you guys very much for watching the first episode of this Ship Evolution series. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.